kind of like the illegal alien. The illegal alien lives in a country, enjoys the benefits of a country, uh, maybe even talks the language of the country, has the accent of the country, though not usually. Uh, but they're not, they haven't actually done what it takes to become a citizen of the country. And in the same way, there are people in the church who talk like Christians, walk like Christians, do Christian things like go to church, maybe even tithe, but who are not citizens of the kingdom because they have not done what is necessary in order to be included in the kingdom. And I know that is very unpopular. And I know that is not culturally acceptable. What's culturally acceptable is that, you know, God is love. Jesus died on the cross. He absorbed the wrath of God. Therefore, God's not angry anymore and you can kind of live however you want to live because God's cool with it. But that is not what the Bible teaches. What, what, the Bible, what the Bible teaches is that there are wheat and tares in every church. There are the real McCoy and then there are the fakers and the posers. There are people who say that they're believers and they have the Holy Spirit living in them, revolutionizing their lives, and then there are people who say that they're believers, their lives are totally void of the power of the Holy Spirit, and they have deluded themselves. And Paul says, don't be deceived, don't fool yourself, the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God. And that's not just me saying that, that's not just Paul saying that, that Jesus himself said that.